see I have five poured, and if I'm loud, I'm sorry, I'm talking over my furnace, but I just realized my camera overheated on the last three pours, and we'll get to them at the wrap-up. I have some cleanup to do on them. I had a lot of copper in the crucible, so it was a little bit heavy. We're gonna probably pour one more school for six, and then the rest I'll dump into that mold for the bar. We'll have to see how that comes out. All right, hopefully you can hear my voice just fine, or I'm not screaming. I'll be back with hopefully a video of me pouring the next couple of pours. Might be able to get one more pour for a skull out of that, but it's already solidifying. So we gotta heat it back up and try again. So you missed the final pour. My camera overheated again. The final pour actually came out the coolest. It's like pinkish red, but either way, pretty cool look to it. And um, I'm happy with it. This one, like I said, has a lot of holes, so I'm a little bit bummed about that. Actually, you might not even saw the clip when I quenched them and showed them it cut off, but this one has a little bit of holes in it, but I might just stamp my logo after polishing it, and we'll just call it like a moon bar. We'll see. So we got eight copper skulls. I've got to grind down these little tabs of my overpours on those two, and I'm going to do that now, and then after that, I'm just going to wire brush some of these and uh, see how they come out. Maybe I'll just wash them off and then see what kind of dark tones they have. But I do want the copper to show through and you really can't see the copper that much. So I definitely want to play with these a little bit and get different finishes on them. We'll have to see how that uh, comes out. Let me go ahead and grind these down and play with the other ones a little bit and bring you back. Just a little more work, but uh, I'll finish them up and be back. All right, I'm back in the coin room and I've probably lost 10 pounds out there in that 125 degree garage. I wanna apologize first and foremost for the lack of filming. Didn't realize my camera kept overheating and that's what happens sometimes. Wanted to share the end result of all of the skeletons that I poured today and took about another hour and a half to finish the way that I thought they were cool. First, we'll start with the RFT uh, bar. It's just too hot to get a mirrored finish today. I don't feel like doing it. So we went ahead and just wire brushed the bottom, or I guess the top in this case. We did a light sanding on all of the four sides and a little bit more heavy sanding on the top. I stamped it. And as obvious, as evident by my being tired, I meant to grab a CU and I think I grabbed a CO. So... Supposed to be CU for copper, but uh, it is what it is. Anyway, there you go. Big old copper bar. We'll get a weight on that at the end. For the first two skeleton pours, all I did was take a wire brush and do a quick brush over all of the high points. So anything that's in the recesses, we just left alone. Yeah, I could use a Dremel and really 
hammer it out, but I figured, you know what? I like the way it looked. I liked it so much, I decided to do two like that. And then I thought, well, let me go ahead and mix it up and not just have all of them look the same. So the next couple, I really only took a hand sandpaper and just quickly roughed up all of the high spots with just some sandpaper, some 300 grit. And this took me about five minutes or 10 minutes, I guess, on these. And then I used the wire brush on the back really quickly, just to try to make it mirror the front. Anyway, I love the way this pour came out. I decided to do it on this one because it had some different high points and low points. Same with this one, had similar type design. So I did the same thing. Probably could have done it a little bit longer, but this one has the Terminator eye. And I think that's pretty cool. I thought about putting like a red ruby in there or something, but I was like, you know what? No, no precious gems in there. Let's just leave it like it is. It's the Terminator pour. This one I left as is. I left as is and um, I did scratch it by having it in my hand and carrying it upstairs. So now that it has the scratch, I don't know. Maybe it's just a scar. We'll leave it like it is for now. It's basically how it came out, poured out. I didn't do anything to it besides a little contact scratches from having it in my hand and carrying all these. Uh, the next one, I took a wire brush and barely went around it. Similar to these, but half as much wire brushing. Thought it came out kind of cool. It is different. This one I spent forever wire brushing, like trying to push the wire brush way into the recesses. We got most of them, so you can see the difference between heavy wire brush and not so heavy, and then barely at all. And then that pink one. I was gonna leave it all pink, but it was such a dull finish. You can see by inside the eyes, it's kind of a dull finish. So I just quickly wire brushed it, almost like these, just to shine up the high points. Thought it came out kind of cool. The back I did spend a few extra minutes on just to make it look a little bit more coppery, if you will. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Little pieces of skeleton art. I think they came out pretty fantastic. I'm happy overall with them. Bummer on that CO. But you know what? It's a moon bar with all the holes. It's an air bar. And I'm tired. Hopefully you enjoyed this copper pour. Again, sorry you missed some of the clips. If you'd like to see more like this, just leave the comments down below. It's been a while since I've done these because I just don't get a lot of views on these videos and it doesn't seem like you guys enjoy them too much. But either way, let me know if you did. I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting, happy stacking, happy pouring, and thanks for watching.